about 10 minutes into the walk. We're just walking on like some back street and we see like a little cylinder. We thought it was like a soda can or something. And Mitch goes over to kick it. It, it just like explodes. No metal anything. And we look at it and it was just a can of meat. It was definitely like planted there. That's And we were, we talked about that meat for like 30 minutes at least after that. Because we were like, that that's the sign that this is going to be an interesting walk. <gasps> <gasps> Oh. 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 Hello, my name is Anthony Califatis, but I go around Montclair at, by Dusty, my nickname. Uh, I'm a commuter here at MSU. I uh, commute from Cranford, New Jersey. It's a 30-ish minute drive, and I study English right now as an, a solely an English major. Uh, at Montclair, uh, I swim, which is a pretty big part of my life. It takes a lot of my time away. Uh, in, in a good way though, because it, it makes me more fit and it's better uh, to like have regimented time and makes it so I can eat whatever I want, which is really helpful. I was sitting, eating a Sam's, uh, and I was like, you know, I should try to walk to Montclair. And I really wanted to be like, I wanted to be able to say, I walked to school when I was younger, and I want to be able to tell my kids, hey, you can't complain, I used to walk to MSU. And I really wanted to bring on board some friends because walking for that long alone, I felt it, like maybe it could be cool, but that's more of like a pilgrimage kind of thing than it is a fun kind of thing. So I brought my two best friends, Mitchell Lane and Stephen Roth from MSU. This was two years ago that we did this walk. Now on this walk, you could imagine that there were a lot of like little mini monuments for us to, to reach because it's 19 miles of back roads and highways and forest. And it took roughly eight and a half hours to finish the whole walk. 20, 30 minutes into walking down that path, we realized we were not walking down a path. It was a dried up river. Basically, we were just in open forest. It was like, we have no idea where we are. My GPS wasn't working. We decided just pick a direction and keep walking, like followed generally where the river would have gone or where the path would have gone. And we see a big fence. We walk in, uh, we don't walk, we walk up to the fence. And on the other side of the fence, we see a lion, like two or one or two lions. And we're like, oh, we are definitely behind the turtle bag zoo. And we did eventually decide to just follow the fence and go around. And we, we got out and ironically, the path that we would have followed ends right at the edge of the fence anyway. <laughs> that, was, that was probably the biggest, scariest, I guess, moment. A good final word I'd like to put in is try to walk more. Try to go more places without your car and without as many distractions. Just bring some friends and walk places and you'll find that there's a lot more to see than just what's on the other side of your windshield.